Well, indeed. So we had Seb and I under the car with spanners and Leatherman and, well, listen. Silence. Yay! Yay! So all is very well now. Things are good. Rusty is, well, he's been bush fixed. I wouldn't say he's been fixed because that would be a massive stretch of the imagination. But Rusty is bush fixed. And well, what had happened was there was a protection for the plate. Well, a plate that protects the disc. And that had come off the welding and was now touching the disc. And that's why it was squeaking so much. And so what we did is we just quickly made a bit of a bush hack of it and we bent it slightly back and over a nut and that's now stopping it from rubbing against the disc and like I say silence is golden I don't think it's going to last very long and well it, probably not after we go over any sort of bush whatsoever but we're gonna give it a bash and see what we can do it definitely is a lot better than what we had earlier that's for sure so I'm quite excited about the fact that it's quiet for the first time this afternoon and I think Seb is too because Seb was not saying anything he was trying to manfully power through the situation but was I think starting to get just like me and getting thoroughly irritated by this high-pitched squeak that was just moaning from the front left vehicle so all happy that Rusty no longer sounds like a squeaky toy from a two-year-old and is now really back up and running to the way it should be in the hardcore Land Rover that Rusty is. Well done Rusty.